now that we have our quiz in type form, we need to add the finishing touches. First, let's make sure we capture that all-important email address by adding an email question. We'll set this question as required in the question settings here. Just make sure you follow any local regulations about collecting and using customer email addresses, such as GDPR in Europe. To make sure we have their permission, we'll add a legal question here, confirming consent. Next, we're going to spice up some of our questions. This is where you want to tweak your questions to make the tone of your quiz more conversational. Next, we'll change some of the questions from multiple choice to picture choice. The color question is the perfect opportunity to add some flair and make our quiz more visual. We can use the Unsplash powered image library to find just the right images to represent each color. Next, we want to add a welcome screen. This will help introduce the quiz to our respondents and let them know how long it'll take. Then we'll change the button text and add a video from our Pexels video library to make it a bit more dynamic. Next, we're going to add a statement directly after our welcome screen. This sets the scene for our quiz and gives more context about what they can expect from the outcomes. Next, it's time to add the endings. We'll do that here. We'll start with the outlaw. Here is where we'll give a bit more detail about what the archetype of this brand represents. Then we'll add an image to help represent the outlaw spirit. Yeehaw! Finally, we want to give our respondents the opportunity to get in touch. We're going to do that by changing the button text and adding a link to the button where they can schedule a meeting. We also want to leave the social sharing icons on. This lets our respondents share their outcomes on social media, which is a great way to get more exposure and, of course, more leads. This feature works for outcome quizzes and will pull the image from your ending when they share it. We'll do the same for all 12 endings, taking our time to add the descriptions and images. That's the content of our quiz done. Now it's time to add logic. We're creating an outcome quiz, so we're going to choose that option here. Now, this is where our table will come in handy. For each outcome, we'll have to choose the answer in each question that corresponds to it. We'll start with the outlaw. Referencing our table, we know that the outlaw will answer changing the status quo in question one, purple in question two, liberation in question three, and so on. We'll go through all the questions this way and do the same for all the endings. And it's all set up. Now we click save and we're done. Make sure you preview the type form and the logic before hitting the publish button. For this quiz, we want to keep the design simple. So we'll go to the design tab to change the font and tweak the colors. Since we have images throughout the type form, we'll keep the background white. Now we're ready to publish. Up next, sharing your quiz for the biggest impact.